Hey guys, before the video begins, I would like to say there might be some cuts because I'll be like constantly sneezing and coughing during the video since I'm sick and I don't want you guys hearing that so I'll try to make the edits as smooth as possible and I might not be able to speak English so things might come out wrong. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. By the way, this is not an idea on Wattpad, this is my idea entirely. We were walking through the Zaldic Mansion. Well, outside of it, at least. We got tired of his family and nagging him and nagging him to go train. So, he went outside. Suddenly heard, he suddenly heard rustling in the bushes. That was where he thought to himself. As he walked closer, he saw a cat. It had beautiful fur and eyes that shined in the sun. See? Oh, are you pretty? He said. You come closer to you. You backed up slowly. You can smell people's auras, and his one doesn't smell all that great. You can sense blood. Though you were at the Zaldic Mansion. Hmm. You have no reason to be scared of me, he said, bending down, crouching. I won't hurt you, I promise. Unlike my family, I'm not a monster. Well, I, at least I don't think I am. You so you slowly approach him. He slowly patted your head, making you purr. Ah, uh, you're such the cutest little thing. He said, picking you up slowly. On the inside, you were blushing, since you was in your cat form and didn't show. It's been so long since someone called you cute. Now, how about I take you inside to get something to eat? Would you like that? You looked at him and meowed in response. Okay, let's go. As he started walking with you, you wiggled in his arms, signaling for you, to him to let you down. All right, this big and tall, he said chuckling. As you guys walked, you heard his guard dog howl, making you jump in response, right to kill his arm, snuggling to his chest for safety. He giggles. Don't worry, Mikey won't hurt you, as long as you're with me, he said. He is my dog, after all. You kept snuggling his chest. All right, I guess you're not so. I guess you're not this big and tall anymore. He said, rolling his eyes. Use your paw to smack one of his arms. Hey, I guess you can't understand what I'm saying. You're a sassy one, aren't you? You look at him in innocent eyes. See me out. Mm-hmm. We carried you inside and gave you fish. Now, let's take you to my room before my parents notice you. Or. The pig, my older brother Naruki, or the pinhead. As he took you to his room, he sat you down on the bed. Hmm, let's see. You took out a box and opened it, making it flat. You put a couple of pearls and some blankets on it. Here, come down here, he said, patting it. You jumped down. The blankets and pearls are so soft. You nestled right on top. <laughs> He chuckled to himself. Every time he looked at you and chuckled, he felt you felt smiled inside. He yelled happy. You he yelled happily out loud. <laughs> I guess you are happy. Well, I have to keep you hidden, though. I don't want my family taking you away from me. You were the best things that ever happened. I mean, I don't really have a lot of friends other than Gong, Karapika, and Riario, and my. My younger sister, Aluka. But I don't mind having you around, he said. He kept petting you until you laid on your back and made him pet your belly until you swat his hand away. Why is kitten so feisty when I do that? You me out in response. He sighed. Well, I really have to get going. I have training to go. My parents won't get off my back until I do it. Just stay here, little kitty. I'll be right back. You can wait for me, he said as he left the room. He smiled happily as he tried to take your nap. It's been so long since it's been so long since you've been in somewhere, some place so warm and so cozy with someone who actually cares about you. As days pass on, Kilo started training more. As soon as he always come back from training, he looked so injured. You notice there's burning on the back of his hand and sometimes scratches on his legs. He meowed at him every time he came back inside 
It was not a happy meow, but it was a worried meow. I'm alright, he always says, as he sat down with bandages, his wings, and comes and pecks you and feeds you. But you didn't like this. You didn't see him upset. Every time he comes back, he looks so sad and so starts petting you. You're glad that you made his day, but you don't want him sad to begin with. We wanted to know why he was sad in the first place. So next time he says he's after training, we try to be silent and follow him. We followed him to where Lumi was training him. We saw him use Kilo's to power to almost break his arm so badly. Had him pins thrown at him, cutting his flesh if he doesn't move fast enough. We fall we saw the horrid sight. We quickly ran back to Kilo's room and hid. How would anyone do this to Kilo? Kilo of all people. He was so nice to you. He didn't deserve this, he thought to herself. We decided to take the liberty. We took it you took yourself into a human form. And you well, you stole money from Alumi, because you had a now you have the vendetta against them. You went outside with a hoodie on, Kilo's hoodie. You liked it. It smells like him. You shook yourself out of the thought and went to the chocolate store. You bought his favorite chocolate robots for him. As you guys, as you left, you quickly placed the chocolate robots on the bed and left him a note. Then you quickly slipped into your cat form and went back underneath the bed and waited for him. The chair wagging about how happy he would be. As you came back, you heard the door creak. I looked up to see it was your favorite person in the whole world, Kilo. He meowed happily this time. Hey, listener, he said with a smile, a weak one, until his eyes landed on t- what's on top of the bed. Hey, listener, come here. He said, patting the bed, signaling you for the jump on. You came out from underneath and jumped on the bed. What's this? He opened the box and saw the note. Dear Kilo, I know you've been through some hard times, especially with your family. I wish you the best. I can't reveal yourself. I can't. Re- I cannot reveal myself to you for now. But I hope these chocolate robots will make you feel better. He opened them. It was the flavored chocolate, flavored chocolate robots, and a favorite flavor too. Who you know who did this? He looked at with a smile on his face. You shook your head. Well, I should be concerned about how he got in here without, the, without Mikey eating him. But hey, two chocolate robots, three chocolate robots. He said, shrugging his shoulders and ate them happily. And plus, if they're poison anyways, they can't affect me. You smiled at him, seeing him so happy while devouring the chocolate robot. I would offer you some, listener, but you're a cat, and last time I checked, chocolate might be poisonous to animals. Well, to be clarified, you can eat chocolate, but not in your cat form. You don't know why. It was just regular science, she thought to herself. As Kila ate happily, he started to do this more and more often. But Kilo was starting to get suspicious. How would the person even get inside without Alumi, you, him, Mikey, the rest of his family noticing and killing them? He got suspicious and started watching, but he didn't catch anything, mostly because he was too fast. Alumi never suspected why his money was disappearing. He never spent it anyways, and he chose. He didn't care much. He thought Maluki just took it. One day, Kilo arrived back from training early as he was playing the, as he was playing the gifts on his bed. Who are you? He barked. He was in your human form, so he didn't recognize you. Kilo! He pushed it out. He wasn't expecting him to come back so early. Who the hell are you? He looked around. What the heck is my cat? He said. His claws now out. Now he's pissed. Wait, hey, Kilo, I can explain. You don't explain shit, he said. Where the hell is listener? His voice tone ri- his rise. His voice tone rise, causing you to get scared and change back into your cat form. What the hell? Listener? He made direct eye contact with you. He- You're a human? Or a necro of some sort? You didn't respond and you just slowly nodded your head. Why the hell did you even did you tell me? He sighed, and he started talking to cat form. How else are you going to throw me out? I revealed to myself to other people at times, but they couldn't care less about how I feel. 
and spill me onto the street. Like the animal I am, you said, fine. I would never do that. You said, pick me up and put you on the bed. Now tell me. T now tell me all about yourself. You started to tell him about yourself. And as days went on, he didn't mind your human form. Of course, it scared him every now and then. Usually, you just used it to scare him to sneak up on him since he was soft or a kitty paws. But you, he grew a liking to you and, so, and realized you can't eat chocolate robots. He sighed, knowing that he had to share now with you. But he couldn't resist your cute face while he was eating them. So he didn't mind as much. Hey, listener, he said. You guys were on the roof of his household. It wasn't really cold. But it wasn't really warm either, so you guys were huggling up for warmth. Yeah? I brought you a gift. Can you turn into your cat form? Okay. You opened the box. It was a beautiful color. It had jewels embedded into it. And it had a listener on the top of it. It was so pretty, you said to yourself. Yep. He turned it around, revealing his name. And it said, Property of Tito Lazaldic, and it had his number on it. Now you can turn back into your human form. The color looks so good on you. I made sure it was good on both sides. Oh, thank you, Kila. You said happily. You know what this means right now? What? You said, raising your eyebrows. That means you're officially my kitty and mine alone. You said happily. Making your face turn bright red, he chuckled. Well... Well, since you put this collar on me, you're my human and my human alone. Now his face turned pinkish. You guys both chuckled. I'm so glad to be your owner. You know, Kila, that sounds weird when you say it out loud. Yeah, it does, Kila said, rolling his eyes, laughing. But hey, I'm glad to be by your side, he said, literally. <laughs> me too. You rest your head on his shoulder. I love you, listener, he said, quietly. He didn't know you were still awake, because both of your eyes were closed as you rest his head, as you rested your head on his shoulder. I love you too, you mumbled. His eyes widened in surprise, seeing that you were still awake, but he didn't complain. He just patted your head as he always did, making you purr. Hey guys, so sorry this skit was a little messy. In the original cut, I was going to make like a Lumi Catch listener. But in the end, I didn't do it because I realized how long the video was getting. But I hope you guys enjoyed this anyways. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.